One common use case in cloud computing is whitelisting of IP addresses. It's a very usual scenario that your customer has whitelisted a specific IP address and the application scales. And now you really don't want that IP address to be lost, but you at the same time want to add additional servers. So how do you get rid of uh, such bottleneck is whenever you get such scenario, his usual thought process is that you would have some sort of auto scaling group or some sort of serverless architecture and you will have an application load balancer in front but application load balancers cannot have that specific IP address that has been allocated so how do you get rid of that such scenario it always the NLB that uh, comes to rescue so um, you will see a lot of information from AWS highlighting that a network load balancer can sit in front of an application load balancer behind the scene you can scale your application it could be um, auto scaling groups or serverless architecture or uh, it, it could be elastic beanstalk or ecs in regardless of any other any such service in the back end you know, it will be front-ended by a, an application load balancer which will have network load balancer in front just to have that specific IP address. Let's quickly take a look uh, at this uh, in action. We have this one instance, which is which has a uh, public IP address right now. Let's see. It uh, hosts uh, GitLab setup right now. What we plan to do is we want to scale this and we want to add additional servers in front then what we can do is we can add an application load balancer in front which will then be able to route to any of multiple of these ec2 servers but we won't be able to give this ip to the load balancer that is the challenge so how we come around with this is uh, go to this IP address and we say disassociate it, disassociate this elastic IP address. So this IP address is now just disassociated from this EC2 server, but it's still available to us for to be used in any of our applications. So this should give us a page not found kind of thing. It won't respond. What we need to do is go to and elect this one, create a load balancer of type network load balancer, give it any name. This is not responding. Make it interface internet facing IP address four. Use this uh, that's just because my EC2 instance that I will be routing to is in uh, that was in this availability zone. So instead of doing it. Uh, I let instead of let, letting AWS identify the IP, I will choose the IP 52.62.26, 52.62.26 to 39. I give the IP address that was assigned to the EC2 server. And behind, then here I'll have to create an target group for this. Now, you see, we can have an application load balancer if we want. If the application is scaled through an application load balancer, multiple uh, EC2 servers or uh, auto scaling group behind it, it could be a Lambda function or it could be an IP address or it could even be an instance. 
let's use an IP address. server this is the instance it's running doesn't have the public IP anymore here's the private IP This is the IP in this range on port 80. We'll just go back and say that the help check is on slash user on the previous page. HTTP health check. This is check. And this is the private IP of the server. Thank you. You see, our instance was in 2C. That was the reason I selected that particular zone in the NLP and create target group so this target group is created right now it is not used because it's not associated with any, any of the load balancer We'll come back and we'll associate this one. So now what we are doing is we are creating an NLB in the 2C. Uh, AZ on port 80. And we are giving it our own elastic IP that we want it, it to have. And we say create load balancer. It is going to take some time to provision but you will see that this is a very common scenario in architecting applications in cloud or anywhere for that matter in networking you you would need some sort of static IP to be reused because your application is scaling and you want to add additional servers very common scenarios in small to mid tier companies where things grow and in such cases, you would want to use uh, NLB in front of uh, net, uh, any application load balancer or any other cloud service. So it uses this Elastic IP. And our instance, this instance can, it doesn't have any public IP. This can be in a private subnet now and NLB will route traffic to it once this gets provision this should start working it does take a bit of time provisioning a network load balancer but what we want to achieve at the end of it is
Still can't find it. The reason for that is this subnet is not open to world, so F04 This is a sort of private subnet There you go. So it does take a bit of time before NLB is provisioned, and now it's accessible. And you will see that the network load balancer now has the same IP that we had assigned it. So basically, what we have done is we have remove this IP from EC2 and assign it to the NLP.